Let's talk about dragon fruit a little bit. You see this grew a little bud and this flower will open in the evening. This is dragon fruit. Not the best way to grow it, but it's the way I'm growing it right now. I kind of let it get out of hand. But as you can see, this is going to blossom tonight. Here's another one where the flower had already come out and now it's dried. I leave the flower on there. This fruit is not ready at all, but this is how the fruit starts to grow. You can see that it's at the tip of the um, stalk of the dragon fruit. This fruit has a lot more time to go. Let's show you. It's what it looks like. I just put it on top of something so it wouldn't be resting on the ground. This happens to be growing out of a pot. And like I said, this is not the best way to grow your dragon fruit. You can put it on walls. You should really put it on a nice, beautiful post and have it cascade over like an umbrella. Dragon fruit has nice little thorns on it. This dragon fruit I just have cascading over the back of the bench. And there is another fruit right here. This dragon fruit is planted in a five gallon bucket growing up on what we call a trellis and cascading over like umbrellas. Now these ones we're doing an experiment with just putting a bag on them because birds and um, the big black bumblebees started drilling holes into them as they started changing color like we have in this one right here. It's starting to change color to the pink, which becomes very appetizing to birds. As you can see, beautiful thorns. All the way around. Here's another one that is starting to change color, but as you can see, the plant just cascades over. This was a flower that now has dried. We leave it on there, and this is very young. Here's a fruit that is beginning to change its color to pink. This is nowhere near ready. You want it to go full pink and then these leaves will start browning at the tip before it would be ready. But like we said, we put uh, plastic bags on them for right now to making sure that the critters don't poke holes in them and damage your fruit. Here's another flower that will be blooming probably this evening. Now some people will pollinate the flower in the evening. I've never done that. Never had a problem with fruit developing. Dragon fruit is very easy to grow. You can just leave it in a bucket, 
Make sure it gets watered.